select the person you would like to create out of plasticine as your model. Grab a photo and choose the colour for the background as step one. Cover the plasticine all over the cardboard square. We have used four centimetre by four centimetre squares, choosing one colour and smoothing it over as you go. The next step is to select the right colours and mix the colours to create a skin tone for that person that you are going to create a portrait of. Start by placing the skin of the face down, the body, the outline of the hair and then you can gradually add further details with smaller amounts of plasticine as you can see in the image above. Then we're going to start on the eyes. Don't forget you need the white of the eye, the coloured part of the eye, the iris and the black pupil in the centre. Once you have all of those areas, you can add eyebrows, nose, mouth, ears, and any other features that you would like to add that represents that person. Finish the facial features and you are happy with the placement of the mouth, the nose, any type of jewellery that you'd like to add, then you can start to add some detail to the background. Choose only one more colour and create spots, stripes, or any other patterns or lines that you might like to create. Keep it simple, and the more simple it is, the more effective it will look. Once you're totally done, you will then get a paintbrush and some super gloss. Now super gloss is a great varnish which can be painted on top which seals the plasticine and makes it firm. Once you've done this it needs to dry for two days and then we will do another coat of, of the super gloss to keep it all finished and preserved ready to frame. Well done guys!